Hi everybody! Welcome and thank you so much for checking out my channel. My name is Tani and I'm an independent author and somebody who just really loves great stories. So on this channel I talk about writing, books I've enjoyed, and lessons I've learned on my publishing journey. One of the skills that I've picked up as an indie author is book formatting, and that is something that I've actually come to really enjoy, especially for print books. And it's something that honestly I think I've gotten pretty good at over the years. I will pop up some images on the screen so you can see what some of my books look like on the inside. I have done the print formatting myself for all of these books, and I plan to continue doing that for any books that I self-publish in the future. I've gotten several questions and comments about my book formatting, and people are usually pretty surprised to learn that I do my formatting in Microsoft Word. I realize that Microsoft Word is not the best formatting software out there, but it is something that a lot of writers have access to already, and you can actually do a lot with it if you know how to. In this video series, I am sharing some tips and tricks that I've learned that hopefully you can use to format your own books if you decide that you want to do that as well. Today I am going to show you how to create your book's front matter, including the title pages, and specifically if you want to use images in your title pages, I will be showing you how to do that as well. So I have here our little pirate book that we created last time that is just kind of a, you know, a pretend book that we're working with. And we're going to go up all the way to the top and work on the front matter today. So the front matter includes anything like the title pages or the dedication, maybe a table of contents or the copyright page, anything like that that comes before the actual book begins. That's what we're going to be setting up today. So the first thing to look at is the title page of the book. And some books have what's called like a half title page where it's the very first thing that you see in the book. It's usually just the title. There's a second title page that's like the full title page that comes a little after. For some of my books I have included that half title page and for some I have just included like the one title page. It's really however you want to do that. I have found that I kind of like including the half title page because I like my actual title page to be like more graphic and have some visual elements. But when I am signing a book, like if somebody buys a signed copy, then I don't have a bunch of room to sign my name on that title page because I've put so many other things on it. Now I include that half title page and that is usually where I will sign my books if somebody um, wants to buy a, a signed copy from me. So that's what this is right here. When I'm doing my title pages I usually will create those separately in Photoshop as an image. I just find that they're a little easier to work with that way. But you can just type them directly into the book itself into the manuscript. So if I were to do something like that if I, I could I could recreate this one that we already have and we we would just have to resize all of this. Um, but the font that I'm using is Sinzel and then we would have to like resize all of this, um, center it, and we want it to go a little farther down the page. Um, this could be smaller. These might be bigger. All right so we've got that created and set up and it's it more or less lines up with the one that um, is over here. The only thing that's really bothering me is the spacing of this middle part. It's off compared to this one and the spacing between like the O right here and then like the T to the bottom. It's not quite the same so that is a little easier to get right if you create it as an image in Photoshop or something like that which is why I usually do mine that way and then I can just insert them. After that I'm going to actually leave these two pages blank because I want to put a map at the front of the book. One thing that is kind of hard to remember when you're working with a book file in Microsoft Word is that the pages do not line up the way that they're going to line up in a book. This page over here um, where we have our title is actually page one, which means it's really going to start on the right side of the book, but here it looks like it's starting on the left. So you just have to really pay close attention to that no matter what you're doing and make sure that those pages are starting where you want them to. That's really difficult sometimes in your front matter because you're not going to have any page numbers to look at to tell you where that's starting. You just have to kind of mentally envision that in your head that this is actually starting on the right side of the book. So this will be page one. So on the back of that we're going to have our map and I will show you guys how to put that in in a later video, but I want the map to stretch across the entire two pages. So I'm going to leave two pages blank so that I can put the map in later. Then I'm going to scroll down and on the back side of the map 
I want to include this list of other books that I've written and so I have typed that out and formatted that how I want. And then I'm going to go over here and this again if we count, so this is a right page, left page, right page, left page, right page, which is what I want. I want that title page to be on the right side of my book. And this is kind of what I was talking about earlier, where I have more of a graphic title page that has some more interesting visual elements. And it also includes my author name, which the half, um, half title page at the beginning did not. And again, with this one, I mean, this is pretty simple. You could just type this in and create it inside of Microsoft Word where you type everything out and then you insert the image and then put your author name at the bottom. But with this one also, I have created that as a separate image and inserted it into Microsoft Word that way. One thing that you want to keep in mind when you are putting a picture in, sometimes you will insert it and it will do something really weird with the image. And that's just because the way that you're inserting the image or the image layout is set up in a way that is not going to let you move that image around very good. My Microsoft Word used to default to inserting it like in line with the text, I think is what it would do. And so we can see if we switch to that, like it, it creates this weird thing where it, now it's off to the side. I can't, if I try to move it around, it won't let me. And whatever was over here just got moved down and messed up. And so that's not helpful and that's really frustrating. What I actually want to do is make sure that I change this to um, either in front of text usually works pretty good. And now it will let me move it around a little bit. And so I want to check and make sure that it's, you know, fairly close on the top and the bottom and everything is looking good with that. And now I have that title page inserted, which means that this copyright section is going to be on the back of that title page on the left side of the book, which is fine. That's where I want it. I have this copyright typed up. It's the same thing that I kind of use for all of my books and you can you feel free to copy it and use it yourself or insert your own. And then we're going to go down and this next page is a dedication. Again, that's kind of an optional section. You can use that if you want to. After that, we're going to start the book. However, I would like to show you guys how I do like my fancy section dividers that I do for some of my books. This is actually going to be like part one and I will show you how to do like a visual section divider thing in a later video. So I'm just going to leave these two pages blank for that because I do want that to stretch all the way across the page again. But I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have comments or questions down below. If you look at the description box down below, I have linked a sample Word document that you can download and play around with some of this formatting yourself. It's a document that has already been formatted. It looks just like the one that I just showed you in the video. If this video was useful to you, please hit that like button and be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you think or to let me know if there's other things that you want me to cover in this video series. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as I post more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.